Oh boy, it's finally here and I'm stoked to be showing you this. But this isn't one of those fancy unboxing videos or me telling you what radio link you should use or how good you'll look holding this transmitter. In fact, AI can probably do a better job marketing this than I would. From the long range gods, witness the next evolution in Express LRS design. Featuring dual third generation Semtech transceivers, boasting simultaneous 2.4 and 900 operation. Radio Master Nomad, we're ready. Are you? This evolution hasn't come up overnight, with Jai and the team grinding away to make this happen for over a year now. So well done guys. Some of the smartest minds in the game dedicating their time for not much more than a pat on the back. To accompany the new hardware, it was only fitting I designed a quad to suit. This is what I came up with. An 8 inch frame with 20mm tube arms. I guess it fits into the macro quad category, but you could easily use a small broadcast setup on it. Something I can run on 8S. Now it's time to build it, but that had its challenges. With a quick reset, I was back on my way, cutting more carbon and putting the bamboo to work. Easiest way to cut through the carbon tube is just with an abrasive cutoff wheel, um, either on an angle grinder or you can do similar with a Dremel. Uh, it's not quite as accurate, so I'm gonna do it on the bandsaw with a really fine tooth blade. I also notched the end of the tube so the motor wires can be tucked in neatly and covered by this 3D printed cap. I've got the 20mm tube cut for the arms, top and bottom motor mounts, a single piece bottom plate with G10 isolation for the DJI Air unit, and the top plate, which is sectioned into four pieces for ease of assembly. Adding in the required hardware, a camera cage from an Apex Evo, and all the 3D parts, the frame was ready to complete. I'll run through all the electronics being used, starting with the motors. I've opted for the Axis AF310 in a 1010KV as I plan to use 8S. I'll likely use 8-inch tri-blades, but these APC blades might be fun too. DJI 03 for the vision, and I will need the 20cm extended cable. I'm pairing that with two of the original Cadex Vista long antennas and a Maytech M10 GPS. My FC and ESC are both used, but they're the only bits that I had around capable of 8S, which had the latest version of BL Heli 32 loaded. Some Panasonic caps and the magic new DBR4 receiver. Now this thing does come with some goofy antennas, but I'll be switching those out for a 2.4 and 900 whip with extensions, as well as a couple of immortal T's, which I'll cut down for the 2.4 side. Quick frequency check and swift assembly and the quad was done. I think it turned out pretty nice, coming in around 950 grams. The top plate section makes working on it a dream. I've got the 7 inch by blades on here but will likely use the 8x4 tries. I based everything around a 45 degree angle of attack to maintain antenna efficiency during flight. Those familiar with my previous videos will notice the same silicone dots for the battery surface. The battery area is also pretty humongous, a limitation in many other large prop frames I feel, so carrying a beefy lie on shouldn't be an issue. Now it's time to test it out. <laughs> Greg's out here trying to capture the, the little eight inch. Yeah, you've used the camera before? Yeah, gonna take off, mate. Yeah, I'll just do a couple like warm up, just to get a feel for it. Woo, it's like a race quad. Stay in the middle. I try and hold that line as long as I can for you. Dude, this is fun flying this thing. This is only on 
success. You know what? It might even be enough. No near full stick either, as you can probably see. <laughs> oh, this is fun. The sound is so cool. And keep in mind, this is the stock tune, so no tune on this whatsoever. Filters are all the same. 6S3300. This is really its first crash. So that was pretty successful. Uh, how's the motor temp on that? That's fine. That's actually... Oh, mate, on 8S, this thing would rip. 8S Maiden. I didn't have long enough straps, so I've just used zip ties. And these are the Amazon Special 4S3300s. So... Ah, I love it already. Yeah. So much lower in the throttle compared to the 6S. Sounds exactly the same though, eh? I mean, you can still use it. It's a little bit wobbly in uh, certain movements. Those corners where it just flips. Where to land? So that was the Maiden on the 8S 8-inch prop. So they're the Gemfan 8040, really the Cine Lifter props. What are they like? Yeah, and that's actually, that and it's quite a hot day. Yeah. It is probably a little bit, oh no, it's pretty, pretty balanced. These packs are quite cool too. This is the Yumi Power from Amazon over there. The only ones I could get in time. So otherwise I wouldn't have been able to test the 8S for this video, but. Yeah, 6S, 8S works pretty good. 8S, if you need that little bit more punch, 6S, totally fine. Nice. Put them on charge and go back up. Summing up, the drone I'll definitely be doing more with, so stay tuned for that. The new transmitter will stay in my radio, and what I love about it is that I can now fly my 2.4, 900, or 2.4 and 900 quads all on the same device simply. It does have one quirk. But I solved that with a couple of double-sided foam pieces. I'll also have to work out a new storage method. If you made it this far, thanks again guys and I'll catch you on the next one.